Lesson 5-2, we're going to be talking about sequences. Um, the objective is to describe the relationship and extend terms in arithmetic sequences. 1A, describe the relationship between the terms <laughs> in arithmetic sequence. 8, 13, 18, 23, dot, dot, dot. So, how is that changing between each number? It's going up by 5. Then it says, then write the next three terms in the sequence. So we would add 5 to 23, so we would have 28, 33, and then 38. Okay, what we're going eventually to get to is creating algebraic expressions so that we could be um, on the hundredth term and we would have an expression to know what our number would be rather than just adding 5 each time. 1B. Um, our sequence is 7, 11, 15, 19, and then we're supposed to write the next three terms. So it's going up by 4 each time. So 19 plus 4 is going to be 23, plus 4 is 27, plus 4 is 31. 2A, our sequence is 1.3. 2.1, 2.9, and 3.7. So we look at uh, what it's going up by each time, and each time it's going up by 8 tenths. So then we go ahead and we add it on. So 3.7, or 3 and 7 tenths, plus 8 tenths, would be 4 and 5 tenths, plus 8 tenths would be 5 and 3 tenths, plus 8 would be 6 and 1 tenth. 2B, our sequence is going up by 4 tenths. So we add on 4 tenths each time. So we would have 1 and 7 tenths, 2 and 1 tenth, and 2 and 5 tenths. Emily writes out an exercise plan for her summer vacation. She plans to swim three laps each day during the first week of vacation and increase the number of laps by three each week after that. If this pattern continues, what algebraic expression can be used to help her find the total number of laps she will swim daily during the 10th and last week of her summer vacation? Use the expression to find the total. So, the first week, she plans to swim three laps each day. The second week, she plans to add three to that. So the second week, she plans to do six laps. The third week, she plans to add three to that, so she plans to do nine laps. So if we were talking about like the hundredth week or the tenth week, whatever it is, we want and it's what's happening here between these numbers to know what would the algebraic expression be to explain it. So how can you get from a 1 to a 3, a 2 to a 6, and a 3 to a 9? If you multiply by 3 to the number of weeks she's at, you can know how many laps she's swimming. So your algebraic expression would be 3n. So when it said, if this pattern continues, what algebraic expression can be used? Your algebraic expression would be 3n. And if how many would you swim daily during the 10th and last week? You would do 3 times 10, because that's 10 weeks. And 3 times 10 is 30 laps. <coughs> the greeting cards that Meredith makes are sold in boxes at a gift store. The first week, the store sold five boxes. So let's put that down. First week, so that's position one, they sold five boxes. So different ways that we could get from one to five is we could do plus four, or we could do times five. Okay. Each week, the store sells five more boxes. So the second week, they would sell ten. Would that be plus four, or would that be times five? It would be times five. So that's probably 
what our operation is going to be to get to the next value. And I got a little eraser happy there. Okay. Then it says the pattern continues by increasing by 5 each week. So then the third would have 15. And again, 3 times 5 is 15. What algebraic expression can be used to find the total number of boxes sold at the end of the 100th week? What is the total? So during the nth week, you would multiply that by 5. So n times 5, it's easier to write that as 5n. And during the 100th week, we would take 5 times 100, and we would get 500 boxes.